Good morning students and welcome back to my channel. So today we will learn something different, something botanical, right? Let's start with today's lecture. Okay, so what is on? Do you know what on is? On is basically a unusual floral expansion. This is extension from lemma. Do you know lemma palya? That is the outer covering of the seed that forms from floral parts, right? So that is the extension of lemma. On is the extension of lemma. And in mostly it is found in cereals. In some other species it is found like Gerania seed. It's main, mainly it is found in poesy. So in some uh, crops that is also absent in poesy, right? Like rice, mage, sorghum, on is absent. But in barley and wheat it is prominent. Then what is the function of on? Basically in barley it, it contributes to 12 about 10 to 12 percent to photosynthesis. Right? And in some species that is also contributed to seed dispersal uh, using carpal projection technique. Then uh, somehow it protects seeds from insects and birds also because it is projectile structure no outgrowth from seed right so this is about on then we will learn about ligule what is ligule ligule is mainly found in poaceae and aspraceae in poaceae it is the tongue like thin papery outgrowth at the junction of leaf and leaf seed. And in Astraci, it is the strap shaped extension of corolla, for it, such as that of ray floret in sunflower. Right. So, what is auricle? Auricle is a small ear like or claw like projection from the base of leaf or petals. So, you can see here on legule and auricle on is the projection from lemma then legule is the papery like structure tongue like structure thin papery, papery texture that is tongue like structure then auricle is a claw like structure right so why i am telling all this to you like on legule auricle what you people will do with that this is somehow you can identify different cereals and cereals from grasses in the initial or vegetative stage because in maturity stage uh, when it crossed vegetative stage you can easily identify from seeing them like between oat, uh, wheat, then is minor you can easily distinguish them in latter stage but in initial stage they are seems to be very different so using uh, so like identifying the auricle and ligule you can easily identify them you can easily distinguish them right so how i am telling you like in auricle and ligule both are present in wheat but are less developed than rice whatever the structure of auricle and ligule you find in rice in wheat that is less developed if we say in wheat and barley, the auricle is blonde and hairy in case of wheat. But it is in barley, the auricle is pointed, hairless and larger. And ligule is smaller than wheat. Right? So if we say in oat, the auricle is totally absent. And ligule is medium length. So you can easily find differentiate oat from wheat and barley. Because in wheat and barley, auricle is present but in old auricle is absent and in case of phalaris minor there is no auricle but the ligule is three times larger than wheat in case of wheat it is medium or certain kind of thing the ligule but in phalaris minor you can find three times larger than wheat so you can easily find differentiate between phalaris minor and wheat in the initial stage by looking only to the auricle Ligule, right? Because there is no auricle in uh, Phalaris minor. Yes, 
Oracle is also a differences between character between who it and follow his mind, right? So in this lecture we learnt about on where it is found, where it is not, what are the uh, function of on, then about ligule, then about oracle, and what is their use in identifying different crops, right? So this is for today. See you in the next lecture. Till then, have a good day.